Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Script, Pink Sheet and Invivo. We're here at the Biotech Showcase 2018 in San Francisco, a meeting that runs parallel with the uh, JPM Healthcare meeting. It's an opportunity for companies to get to know each other, uh, to introduce themselves to investors and potential partners. One of the hot areas at the moment is in this sort of the stem cell uh, period, and I'm joined by Haim uh, Libovitz, who is the President and CEO of Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics. So, uh, thank you for joining us. So, you guys are sort of a NASDAQ listed, based in Israel. W what is it that you guys are uh, doing that's going to be sort of disruptive in the stem cell space? Thank you very much for having us. Brainstorm Cell Therapeutics is a leading stem cell therapy company. We are now in a phase three trial with our neuron stem cells, which is a different chase, different differentiated mesenchymal cells. Right. Uh, our lead indication is ALS, and uh, we have seen a wonderful phase two double-blinded trial uh, results from that phase two. And uh, what did they show? Well, we have sh shown a strong uh, improvement in the responders to the treatment at 1.5 absolute points in the ALS FRSR score, which is the golden label score to uh, measure ALS patients. Right, so you've done the phase two and you're, have you started your phase three trial? Exactly, so the phase two was at Mass General Hospital, UMass and Mayo Clinic, three leading centers in the United States by the best KOLs in the field. And now we added on three additional uh, sites here in California, because the California Institution for Regenerative Medicine granted us an antidilutive grant of $16 million for the phase three trial. And we just uh, announced in the end of 2017 that we commenced the phase three trial and we already treated the first patients in 2017. Right, and, and the company, you're, you're doing this on your own or yes. are you doing it with? As I said, we think we are probably one of the best, if not the best, CMC manufacturing stem cell therapy company out there. It's an autologous stem cell therapy and the manufacturing. In the past, people were very worried about the personal cell therapy and we're very thankful for Kite and other CAR T cell companies that paved the way in that, from that point of view, that personal cell therapy is viable and is economical. economical. But we are not a CAR T cell, we are a stem cell, so it's a different method of action. And we proved our proof of concept method of action with very strong biomarker support to the results we have seen in our phase two. Right, okay, so, and, and the phase three, what, what, what are you looking to phase achieve three will phase be 200 three? patients, it will be power to efficacy this time, one-to-one -one randomization in these six, six centers I just mentioned, and we just want to replicate in the subgroup we had in phase two, that would be a, an easy BLA. Right, and, and what would the, the, sort of the milestones be, be on that? What's the timeline are we looking at? Yeah, I think we're looking at a DSMB at mid-2018, and we have uh, probably bringing up other indications and some other surprises that we cannot announce at this time, being a public company, as you know. But uh, 2018, we're looking for a very, very exciting year. Yeah, we hope to have the majority of the enrollment of the patients in 2018, if not all of them, and uh, the follow-up in 2019, the readout of these phase three results, and as I said, we have some other exciting news happening in the next few months. Okay, so, so could you describe, you know, what is it? What, what, what is the, sort of the, the key sort of technology that's underpinning your, your approach? Yeah. So mesenchymal stem cells is very well known to all those that follow stem cell, the stem cell industry. And we have a differentiated mesenchymal cell. So we differentiate, we expand. What happens is the patient comes in, for example, we have a bone marrow aspiration. And we need only ones, we're able now to cryopreserve them that will serve for two to three years of treatment. We're able to expand them into hundreds of millions of cells, we purify them and then differentiate them. We're also able to, uh, to shorten the period because it's an autologous treatment from defreezing until re-injecting re to the patient intrathecally, which is a very simple injection, is only seven days. Very close enough of the shell product. Right, so, so the advantages are that this is going to be a, a more efficient process to to, to produce stem cells? Probably the most efficient known to be for personal cell therapy, autologous cell therapy, and maybe uh, the potential to be the first approved stem cell product in the FDA. And that's very exciting. We're paving the way in many ways. Right, so you're having sort of negotiations with the FDA? With the agency, How's ongoing, very good rapport. We have fast track and orphan drug approval from the agency, and uh, we are on the same page on the design of our trial for phase three and everyone is looking to see the results. Right, so 
how, how are you positioning your, your company? Are, are you actually going to be a therapeutic company or are you looking to have sort of partners where people will tap into your expertise and technologies? We may have joint ventures and collaborations, which I cannot comment more, I cannot elaborate more on that. Yeah, but of course, uh, at a phase three company for ALS with such phase two results, you can imagine that some parties are talking to us. Uh, but we envision ourselves because the CMC part is so important and Big Pharma doesn't have experience with cell therapy, with stem cell therapy. So probably it, will, it won't be a sellout or something like that. We're looking more for a joint venture and to proceed to other indications and similar products. Right, but will you look to commercialize the, the products yourself? We already started, of course, yes. We started a couple of commercialization process and we'll be hiring some senior people from the industry. Just lately we hired our chief medical officer, chief operating officer was the senior vice president of Biogen, he joined us. And we're gonna be hiring some similar uh, people from the industry with a lot of experience to be able to prepare the commercialization. Also on our board, we lately brought some expertise in these fields. Right, so you, you, you sort of mentioned that you already have some sort of partnerships which do you... No, we have some talks on our partnerships, nothing to announce yet. Right. So, so, so what kind, you know, what kind of assets or what kind of um, uh, abilities are you looking from a partner? I mean, what, what, what what do they have to bring to the table? Yeah, I think the know-how we have, of course, you can always learn from other experiences also. But we have probably one of the best know-hows on stem cell manufacturing. And also we understand uh, the underlying of the disease, the method of action from the biomarkers we have, wonderful results. We, we need financial support and probably for marketing issues and other commercialization, a joint venture will make a lot of sense. So that $60 million that you got from uh, CRM, that's that's just to, to finance that's the... That's 50% of the trial. Yeah. Right, okay. And the... We you need have more financing for the additional indications. And we're speaking to many various parties for that as well. Right, right. Okay. And then beyond ALS, what, what, what are the, 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 the next... We'll be step? announcing in a few months other indications and similar products. Uh, we believe that Neuron is a platform solution, a treatment for various neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, because what Neuron really is, it's neuroprotective. It has dramatic increase in the neuroprotection, in the neurotrophic factors. And at the same time, we see a dramatic decrease in the inflammatory factors, which all are relevant, very relevant for the various CNS uh, diseases. And you're, you're based in, in Israel. You say you have an office in- I'm based on the plane, really, yes. But uh, the R&D headquarters is in Israel and the, the, US, the trials in the US only in six sites in the US and the manufacturing for the trials also in the US. Okay. So we are based in two countries. Okay. Well, Haim, thank you very much for coming and I appreciate that. telling us the story. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Cheers. Have a nice one.